What's going on guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video and welcome to your daily dose of transfer gossip and today is the Thursday the 7th of June and today marks one week exactly seven days until the World Cup kicks off in Russia. I've said it multiple times before but I can't wait for it and hopefully it provides me a very, very good tournament. So just before we get started, as always, if you enjoy the video and enjoy the transfers, show support by leaving a like rating, that'd be absolutely awesome and greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel, press the subscribe button for more and press the notifications tab next to it to receive an alert every single time I upload a video. If you missed yesterday's video, it will be down below in the description box and the current schedule every day at 8am as a transfer video is the second upload at 9pm. And finally, in the comment section below, what is your favourite game to play right now? Right then, let's jump into confirmed transfers and the very first one is a new contract for Pascal Gross. He signed a new contract with Brighton until 2022 after a very successful first campaign. Then we go on to John O'Shea completing a switch now to Reading, same club as David Marlowe went to yesterday. It's a free transfer from Sunderland on a one year deal. Then we move on to an Argentinian striker called Bao or Boo. If I say his name wrong, I do apologize about that. But yesterday he did join Club Tijuana in Mexico from Racing Club in Argentina for £1.8 million pounds or €2 million. Euros. And the final confirmed one was in the SS episode as well, being Diego Dalot going to Manchester United. But now it's been all confirmed by the club, and it's going to be a £17.4 million pound fee, uh, potentially rising up to 19 mil on a five year contract from FC Porto. There's actually one more confirmed transfer just going through right now at the time of doing this commentary, being Ovia Jaria, the youngster from Liverpool, completing a loan deal to Steven Gerrard's Rangers. Right, so that's all the confirmed transfers done today. Let's move on to the potential rumours. The very first one is a potential new manager for Chelsea. And this was according to the Daily Express, and it's saying Chelsea are close to appointing former France and Paris Saint Germain manager Laurent Blanc to replace Antonio Conte. The initial target for Chelsea was Sarri from Napoli, but it broke down as they weren't willing to pay the 8 million euro release clause to get him into the club, and uh, obviously they replaced him with Ancelotti. Now, Laurent Blanc, I can't say if he'd be a good manager or not, as we'll have to wait and see what types of players he brings in, or if he's even appointed. Then we've got one that will probably be confirmed today, being Johnny Evans. This one's according to various different outlets, and the very first one is according to Telegraph. Leicester City have activated the £3 million release clause for West Brom defender Johnny Evans. I dare say the deal could be confirmed this week, so it might not be today, but very, very soon. Sky Sports are saying the same thing, but instead of the fee being £3 million, it's 3.5. So honestly, not too much difference there, but it looks like he will become a Leicester player. If you go back 12 months ago, he was into like some Man City Arsenal, and the fee back then was like £30 million, but because they got relegated, it's much, much less now. And now we've got quite an interesting one for Arsenal. This one also could be confirmed very soon as the youngster from Paris Saint-Germain. So first up, according to Le Mercato, they're saying that Arsenal are set to complete the signing of the Paris Saint-Germain youngster, Yassine Adli, and the fee will cost around £200,000. And in fact, RMC are going one step further by saying Arsenal have signed the midfielder, the 17-year-old from Paris Saint-Germain, on a three-year contract with the option to extend for another two years. I've never actually seen him play personally, but I did see a compilation the other day, and he seems very good on the ball. And the final one on this page is according to the Daily Mirror. Chelsea, Tottenham and West Ham are all batting it out for £16 million rated West Brom striker Salomon Rondon. And just like Johnny Evans, his release cost may be very, very low. Um, it tends to be very, very similar, in fact, to what they paid for him in the first place. I think West Brom paid like £10 million. Pounds. Actually, look at it now, it's a bit more than that back in 2015. From St. St. Petersburg, he cost them 15.3 mil. And next up, according to a site called Telegraph, which I think is a Dutch outlet, they're saying that Ajax have laughed off Roma's 10 million euro offer for 19 year old Justin Cliver. And just a couple of days ago, a lot of outlets were saying that potentially Justin Cliver to Roma was nearly done, but it cost around 20 million euros. But according to this article in particular, they're saying it's half of that, and Ajax won't accept it. It seems he's not very happy with Ajax at the moment because I mentioned a couple days ago that pretty much they tried to sell him to Tottenham without even telling him. That wasn't his transfer window by the way, it was either back last summer, like 12 months ago, or back in January. And next up according to France Football, Toko Akambi was expected to be in Spain yesterday to complete a switch to La Liga side Villarreal. They managed to agree on a fee of 20 million euros with his current club, including bonuses, and that was agreed upon yesterday. Now, at the time we're recording this video, nothing's been announced just yet by either club, but I'm assuming at some point today uh, it could be confirmed, and if it is, it'll be in tomorrow's episode. And next up, we've got a very interesting reader according to Marco in Spain, so the Barca and Real Madrid are set to batter out for the signature of Rodrigo. The 17-year-old who currently plays for Santos in Brazil has a reported release clause set at around 50 million euros. A couple of days ago, Real Madrid were the favourites to get him, in fact, for 45 million euros, which I believe is the same fee they paid for the guy from Flamengo, which is Vinicius Jr. And keep on the theme of the second player, by the way, being Vinicius Jr. Vinicius Jr., um, they actually paid £40.5 million pounds for him. 
and apparently it's going through on July 12, 2018, so in about a month's time. So quite possibly on FIFA 19, he might have a Real Madrid card, and for Rodrigo, if he goes to Barcelona Real Madrid, I imagine he'd be loaned back to Santos, like develop a little bit, as again, he's only 17 years old. And this time last week, I'd never actually heard of Rodrigo, but he scored a hat-trick for Santos a couple days ago, and it's all over Twitter. And next up, according to Calcio Mercato, Valencia's nanny has reportedly emerged as a transfer target for teams in China and Mexico. Last season, he was playing for Lazio, but honestly, he played 630 minutes, so he didn't really play whatsoever, and uh, potentially going to Mexico or China, it might be a good option for him now. And moving on to the next page, and the very first player is going to Toby Alderweireld. And this one is according to Daily Telegraph. Manchester United is set to turn their attention to the Belgian defender after landing Fred and Diego Dalot. And they also want to complete his transfer before the World Cup even kicks off, which is understandable. Same goes for a lot of signings this summer. And if United do get out of Vard, by the way, he's a great defender, one of the best in the Prem right now. And if you pair him with Eric Bailly, that could be a fantastic partnership. But they're also currently linked to a player from Sevilla, being the French centre-back called Lengley. And now we're going to one according to Tuto Mercato, and it's an Arsenal eyeing up a free transfer for £60 million rated Jelson Martins, with the winger looking to turn his contract at Sporting after a training ground attack a couple weeks ago. And it's the same situation as Rui Patricio, I believe there's William Carvalho in there, and there's probably a couple of others. Again, I'm not sure if the contracts have been properly terminated or not, because Rui Patricio is looking to go to Wolves or potentially Napoli. Jelson Martins, though, if they get him on a free transfer, that would be insane. As the article mentioned, he's around 40 to 60 million pounds in valuation, which again, if you convert to a free transfer, fair play. And in regards to FIFA, Ultra Team would be a pretty cool one as well for hybrids and such, and he also has five star skills. And next up, according to the Evening Standard, Watford will refuse to sell 40 million pound rated winger Riccardi soon if new Everton boss Marcus Silva makes a move for the 21 year old. And there's still the whole thing going about that Watford are very upset with Everton because they thought that Marcus Silva was tapped up. And Ricardison only joined Watford one year ago from Brazil, and to be fair, he started off very well. The first half of the season is fantastic, but unfortunately for him, the second half, not so much. And next up, according to Manchester Evening News, Manchester United have reportedly entered the race to sign Real Madrid's midfielder Mateo Kovacic, who yes, sells into Schalke. And the other day, he did say he wants to get more first team football, and you can understand why, but on the other hand, you can understand why he can't get in the midfield, because they've kind of got Tony Cruz, Luka Modric, and Casemiro. The article doesn't say how much it costs, but the fact they've already signed Fred United, I can't see them going after another centre mid. And next up, we've gone to quite a surprise one from yesterday, being Shakiri, later to move to Liverpool. A lot of very reliable places are reporting this, by the way, including Paul Joyce, who is considered the most reliable Liverpool journalist. And the one I'm going off today, though, is going to be the Mirror. It's a Liverpool have expressed a firm interest in Swiss international Shakiri. There is a clause in his contract because Stoke got relegated, so a relegation clause there, and it allows him to leave for just £12 million a summer, the same fee that Stoke paid from two years ago from Inter. And because that clause in his current contract, Liverpool are very much interested in him and are going to make an inquiry about his situation, as Klopp looks to bring in more experienced backup for next season. And yesterday, I'm pretty sure I mentioned as well when he's linked to Southampton that I think he's a good player on his day. Um, he can be quite inconsistent here and there, and apparently his attitude isn't that great. But I think under Klopp, I think he'd be very good. And in regards to a backup player, he's so much better than what we currently have with Ings and Solanke. And let's face it, £12 million in this market really isn't too much of a risk, especially considering prices going about. And if it means we put more money into trying to get a good goalkeeper and also Fakir, I'm all for that. And moving on then, this one's according to the Daily Mail. They said Tottenham plan to move from Manchester United's Anthony Martial next week. That's quite literally all it says for now, like no fees we mention or nothing on top of it. But I don't think United will sell him to Tottenham as they are considered a rival. Martial has been into quite a few teams so far this summer, including the likes of Chelsea, Tottenham and Juventus. And you'd assume he wants to get more first team football. Now where it would go uh, to get so, I'm not too sure. But you can guarantee United would want a massive fee for him if they're even interested in selling in the first place. And now according to reports in France, Serie A side Napoli are in discussions with their agents of the possible signing of Southampton midfielder Mario Lamina. The 24-year-old moved to the Saints last summer, but was promised a very different project to what the club ended up being in, but in a full-on relegation battle. But at this point in time, the clubs haven't started formal negotiations. And another player into Napoli today is going to be Pastore, who in the past, or the last couple days I should say, has been linked to West Ham United. So according to La Parisien, Pastore is in contact with Napoli, but his current wage demand of €770,000 per month has slowed down the discussions. And it's the same situation as West Ham as well, because he wants £190,000 per week to join them, and they're not willing to match that. 
And next up we've got some more information regarding Alisson and potential move away from Roma. So according to Globo Esporte in Brazil, Alisson will most likely be at Real Madrid or Liverpool next season. He prefers the two clubs over Chelsea and both clubs think that Roma will accept a deal. Instead of 100 million euros, it's not that, it's 50. They also say Liverpool's officials have been in constant contact since December. Roma initially demanded close to 100 million euros for him but all parties decided and felt this would make any deal impossible. And moving on to one from Man City then, this one's according to Sky Italia, so that Man City are now offering 48 million euros with 2 million euros in additional fees for Napoli midfielder Jorginho, the Italian club want 50 million up front. And you assume how much money City do have, 2 million euros won't stop it still happening and he'll probably be a City player quite soon now. And now we have another update regarding Fakir and potential switch to Liverpool. Leon have indicated they will allow Nabil Fakir to join Liverpool this summer at the right price. The negotiations were going quite so, but now it is some kind of breakthrough in them. The player has indicated he'll only go to Liverpool, but the president of Leon is yet to name a fee for him. And Leon are hoping the fee won't cost much more than £50 million, with Fakir said to be 100% decided on a move to the Reds this season. And the Leon president has also come out and said that Ben Arthur could be a replacement for Fakir. And the final player on this page is going to be Antoine Griezmann, and the first one is the Conte Cadeno Coppe. Atletico Madrid are preparing to offer Antoine Griezmann a new contract worth £385,000 a week after tax. And ABC is saying that Griezmann has told his close friends already he has no longer got interest in joining Barcelona. And to be fair, if he accepts that deal, it makes him one of the highest paid players in the world. And moving on to the final two today, and the very first one is the Conte Damasio, saying that Atletico Madrid are in active negotiations with AS Monaco for Tom Lamar. Atletico are offering 60 million euros for the Frenchman, however, Monaco won 80. And the final today is the Conte AS. Liverpool forward Mohamed Salah has been offered to Barca by his agent, and they're ready to open negotiations. The 25 year old Egyptian international has been considered an alternative to Griezmann, as they feel he could be staying at Atletico. But this story was denied a couple hours after by Salah's agent on Twitter, saying this never happened at English AS, you need better sources. Now of course, pretty much every single big team across the world will be interested in Mohamed Salah, but whether we sell him or not after one year, I can't see it happening just yet. But that guys is going to be it for this video, so as always, if you enjoyed it and enjoyed transfers, show support by leaving a like rating, that'd be absolutely awesome and greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel, press the subscribe button for more, and press the notifications tab next to it to receive an alert every single time I upload a video. If you missed yesterday's video down below in the description box, current schedule every day at 8am as a transfer video, and if there's a second upload, that'd be 9pm. And finally, in the comment section below, what is your favourite game to play right now? Let me down below. So thank you for watching this video, I'll see you next time.